Welcome to Seven of the Fates. If you've been having some strange or repeating dreams, I'm here to tell you what they mean. We'll use tarot, oracle, as well as initials to find out if someone in particular is involved. Pick your Hogwarts house. If you don't know what that is, then pick the card that sparks a memory in you. It has your answer. Guidelines below on how to do just that. Feel free to pause this video as you take your pick. As always, timestamps down below. And let's begin. It is Joe Gryffindor, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You are meant to see it right now. So, what do your dreams mean? Let's start with tarot. The Six of Swords. Justice. The Three of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. And... The Four of Wands, okay? Darling, the reason you've been having these dreams is because right now you are in the process of transitioning the Six of Swords, right? You're about to leave turbulent waters and you're about to go someplace better, nicer, smoother. But look at you. You're looking down, right? Right now your subconscious is a little bit scared, a little bit worried that this new destination may not be all that you want it to be. Right? You can't see it yet. You can't see the final outcome yet. You're still in the middle of it. And you're worried. That's why you've been having these strange dreams. And that's why we have justice here. Right? You don't know if this new relationship, this new job, this new situation, this new connection is going to be a reward for the good things that you've done or a punishment for some of the mistakes that you've committed. Right? You still don't know if it, this new beginning, if it's going to be good karma or bad karma, right? This is something that your subconscious is worried about and it's seeping through your dreams, right? This is what it means. But your cards are telling you, the universe wants you to know that it's all gonna be good. <laughs> okay, darling? The three of pentacles. This is the card of cooperation. So whatever is happening right now, it will cooperate with your dreams, with your goals. In other words, whatever this new thing is, it's going to be in line with what you know to be good, to be best for you. And look, this is you, darling. You're up on a pedestal, right? This is other people, the people around you, admiring you, looking up to you. So if this is your magic relationship, then this is someone who reciprocates you. Someone who admires you. If this is a new job, this is, you know, colleagues and bosses, right? Clients who admire you for your hard work, for your talents, for your skills, right? People who respect you. People who know your worth. And again, with the fear, right? Darling, this is you right now. What did we say? You are in the middle of it. So right now, you don't know. You feel trapped a little bit, right? You feel kind of imprisoned because this is your past. This is your future. You're in between and you can't do anything. You need to be patient. You have to wait. And that is kind of making you go crazy, right? Your subconscious is really not at ease right now because of the waiting, because of the suspense. But the divine wants you to know, darling, that again, everything is going to be perfect. The four of wands, this is the card of stability. This is the card of celebration. Look at them with their arms up, right? Raising them in joy and celebration. This is what awaits you, darling. Yellow manifestation, right? So right now, there is worry and there is fear in your mind, in your heart, in your soul. That is why you've been having these clashing dreams, you know, very strange, weird dreams. But all is going to go well, right? In your favor, justice, good karma, right? Everything is going to turn out for the best and stability, celebration. These are what await you eventually, right? Let's see what your oracles have to add to this. Watching clouds lie back, crest, and relax. Again, darling, this is your advice from the universe, from the divine. Right now, you're in the middle of it, right? You're in between, but instead of worrying about something that you can't control, the universe, the divine, wants you to just lie back, rest, and relax, right? Trust, trust, right? That this is going to turn out for the greatest, for the best. You know what they say, let go and let God, kind of like that, right? Just trust, everything is going to turn out fine, right? We have stability here, we have truth, we have justice, so don't worry about it. Right now, this break, you know, whatever this transition is, take the time to use it to lighten the load, you know, be lighthearted a little bit, have fun, right? Again, lie back, 
This is what you're supposed to do right now. This is what the universe wants you to do right now. Your other oracle is Gates of Triumph. Again, this is just an echo of this, darling. Look, right? Very similar energy with the yellow, right? With the pillars. Look, there's also four of them, like the four of wands. So again, darling, success is what awaits you. So don't worry, right? Enough with this Eight of Swords energy. This is just you. If you look at this card, she's not actually trapped. Look, she can just walk forward and move on. Everything's fine, but she feels like she's trapped. She's not. This is what's happening with you right now, darling. Your subconscious is worried that things are going to end up badly, but they're not. Anytime you want, you can walk away, right? Anytime you want, you can move on. You can move forward. That is why right now the universe wants you to just relax, right? And trust and let go and know that all is going to be perfect. Now let's see if there's someone in particular who's involved with all of this. Is there someone you have to look out for? Maybe someone who's sending you this message or maybe someone who's involved in the outcome of whatever is going to happen. Okay. We have G, L, and O. So there you go. Go. <laughs> so darling, these are your clues, right? First name, last name, second name, nickname. This could be their initials. The person who wants you to get this message, right? Maybe this is someone who passed away, right? Someone from the other side. Or maybe this is the person who's about to come into your life after this transition, right? But either way, what did we say? <laughs> let go and let God. So this is kind of a reflection of that as well. So there you go, darling. Now we know the reason you've been having these dreams is because the universe, the divine, wants you to let go of your fears and know that the gates of triumph, stability, they are what await you. Wonderful. Again, LGO, remember that, darling. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose Ravenclaw, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You are meant to see it right now. So, what do your dreams mean? Let's start with Jero. The Three of Wands, the Lovers, the Two of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Devil. Wow. Darling, the reason you've been having these dreams is because for a while now, you have been waiting. The Three of Wands, this is the card of waiting for your ships to come in, right? This is you by the seashore. You're waiting for a ship. What kind of ship? The ship with your soulmate in it, right? The lovers. You are waiting for true love. You are waiting for your life partner, darling. You're waiting for the one that's meant for you. Look at this angel representing the universe, God, the divine, right? You're waiting for the one that the fates have sanctioned for you. And recently, someone came into your life, right? But you're not sure if they're the one. That's why you've been having a lot of dreams because you are wondering, right? Which way is this going to go? Is this going to be my happy ending or my major disappointment, right? Someone recently came into your life. Look, you're still looking shy around each other, right? It's like you're not very comfortable around each other yet. You just met. Maybe not even officially. Maybe this person just entered your, you know, your physical um, surroundings. Maybe this is someone that just entered your mental, emotional space, right? Someone that just recently inserted themselves into your environment. Maybe nothing is official yet, right? The Two of Cups, this is something very new, something very fresh, right? Maybe it's a bit premature right now. That is why we have the Six of Pentacles here. You see, darling? Right now, the things that you have from this person, from this connection, nothing but breadcrumbs, right? At this very moment, as we speak, there's only breadcrumbs. You want millions, the lovers, but right now you're only being given pennies, right? Because it's only at the beginning stage, so don't worry about it, darling. I mean, it's the first stage, it's the first phase. Things aren't perfect yet, right? You're only being given previews, right? Sneak peeks of what this connection could be. But your subconscious is very much worried, darling, because things aren't perfect yet, right? 
you're worried, you're scared deep down that you're waiting for this. The lovers look yellow, red, purple, very bright, but maybe this is what you've been given. Dark, black, gray, right? Shackles, fire. You're a bit scared that you're waiting for the world and you'll be given the underworld instead, right? Angel, devil, you see the contrast? But don't worry, darling, your dreams are trying to tell you to stop worrying, why? Because when you have the lovers and the two of cups in one spread, then this is your official, major, ultimate confirmation that this is indeed the right one for you, okay? This person that just entered your life, this person that's very fresh, very new in your environment, maybe nothing is official yet, right? They are the one for you, darling. I mean, this is a very small spread. What are the chances that you got both the lovers and the two of cups and right next to each other? What else? You even have two sixes, right? Major Arcana six and six of pentacles. Sixes, they are about a harmony. They are about balance. They are about perfection, darling. So this is your major confirmation, your ultimate answer that this person you're thinking of, right? Maybe things are far from perfect right now. They're only giving you you know, pennies, coins, right? Breadcrumbs, very <laughs> small things of what you're expecting. But that's because this is only the beginning, darling. Look, both of you are still very shy with each other, not yet comfortable with each other. But eventually this is going to grow into this, okay? The lovers, look at all of the color, right? Look at the involvement of the divine in this connection. So now we know, darling, the reason you've been having these dreams is because the universe, the divine, wants you to know that you have to be patient at this point, darling, okay? This is the one for you, but give it time, okay? Go with the flow, and eventually you'll find out what this person has to offer, everything that this person can bring into your life. Now let's see what your oracles have to add to this. Ascending the mountain, keep going forward, right? Things are not yet perfect, mountain. It feels like a challenge right now, but keep moving forward because you're going to discover something once you're on top, right? Your other oracle is discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Isn't that beautiful? This is the third confirmation. First, you get both the lovers and the two of cups, then you get two sixes. And now you have this. You stand in the light of truth, darling. This is the one for you. This is your true purpose. This person is a part of the reason why you were born right? This person really is meant for you, but give it time. Right now you're ascending the mountain. You need to keep moving forward for you to experience the zenith, right? Of everything that this connection has to offer to you. Now let's look at their initials. Who exactly is this person that we're talking about? What are your clues? What can you give us about the name, right? The initial of this person. We got you, and E. So there you go, darling. You and E. This could be their first name, middle name, last name, right? Their nickname. This could be their initials. Or they could be from the European Union. <laughs> Something like that. Whatever else, right? Uh, University of the East or, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever that means to you. These are your clues as to who this person could be, right? The place that they're born in, the company that they work for, that they're working for right now, or, you know, um, the environment where you're going to meet them, their initials, right? These are your clues. Take note of U and E. Take note of these two vowels, right? They could be the one, this person that we're talking about. So now we know, darling, the reason for these dreams is because this person is the one for you, but right now your subconscious is scared. The universe wants you to know to stop, okay? Stop fearing. Just be patient. Keep going forward. And eventually you will discover the truth that this person is indeed the one that's meant for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose Hufflepuff, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You are meant to see it right now. So, what do your dreams mean? Let's start with Tarot. The Five of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. The Magician. The Wheel of Fortune. And... The Ten of Cups. Wow, this is major. This is amazing. 
Darling, the reason you've been having these dreams is because the universe, the divine, wants you to turn around. This is you right now, darling. You're grieving something. Look, you're crying over spilled milk. Well, technically water and wine, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you're crying over something. Something really hurt you, right? This could be a breakup. This could be getting laid off your job. This could be, you know, arguments with your mom, with your dad, anything like that, right? An ending to a friendship. Either way, it's something sad and it's something worth crying over. But the universe is telling you that it's time. The reason you've been having these dreams is because the universe wants you to know that it's time to stop crying. It's time to wipe away those tears and turn around at what's behind you because there are still two cups standing. And what else is behind you? More than just this, okay? If you turn around, you will find that there is a stable new beginning waiting for you. The Ace of Pentacles. This is about something stable. Look, there is a garden, darling, that awaits you. Something new will begin, right? Something will start. Something that will stay in your life. Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. This is all about stability, solidity, reliability. What else? The magician. The manifestation of your dreams, darling. All of the elements that you need in life. We have the pentacles. We have the cup, the sword, and the wand. Everything that you need in life. Emotion, love, passion, right? Finances even. Everything that you need is going to come to you if you only turn around. Because right now you have your back turned against all of this, darling. What else is coming towards you? The wheel of fortune. This is great luck, darling. Winds of change are about to come into your life. And what follows this? The ten of cups. Look at the rainbow after the rain, right? Wish fulfillment, happy ending, fairy tale ending, darling. This is one singular message. The reason you've been having these dreams is because right now you're grieving. And of course, of course we need to grieve. When something bad happens in our life, we have to admit that we're in pain. We have to admit that we're wounded, right? This is the only way we can heal. But the universe, even your higher self, the divine, they're all trying to tell you that it's time to wipe away those tears, darling. It's time to say goodbye and to turn around because if you do these, all of this, right? They are what await you. Again, something stable, a stable new beginning, the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of your dreams, the magician, great luck. Lady luck will be on your side if you only bother to look at her. And of course, happy endings and wish fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. Isn't that wonderful, darling? One great, big, clear message for you. It's time to stop crying, to stop grieving, okay? It's time to say goodbye to the past and to start turning around and looking forward to the future because you have an ace and you have a one, right? Something new will begin and then you have two tens. Something will culminate as well, darling. This is amazing. If you only bother to turn around, right? To look at these two cups that are still waiting for you and everything else that awaits you, darling, everything will be fine okay so that is why you've been having these dreams you need to turn around and look forward to your new beginning and to your beautiful happy ending let's see what your oracles have to add to this solitude right this is your mindset right now you're thinking in silence peace prevails you're thinking that it's time to be alone right now it's time to isolate yourself from the world right this is an echo a mirror of this but the universe is saying yes Sometimes that, that's great, sometimes that's recommended, but it's enough for now. It's time to go back out into the world, maybe not literally stay home and be safe. But you know, it's time to start living your life again. It's time to start crying, darling. Enough of the solitude of the isolation, right? It's great that you had that. It's great that you invested time in yourself, but it's time to go back out with your friends, with your loved ones. If this is about a relationship, it's time to start downloading Tinder again or whatever else you're using in your area. You know, you know what I mean. Whatever this is, whether it's finances, it's start it's time to start going on LinkedIn again, right? <laughs> and start applying for something new. So whatever it is that ended, it's time you begin anew, darling. Let's see what your other oracle has to say fellow travelers how wonderful support is all around you do you see darling right now this is you isolated alone solitude right you feel like it's you against the world but the universe your dreams are trying to tell you that no 
you are surrounded by your loved ones people who care about you and the divine is also around you see i have two rainbows the rainbow after the rain so the rain is over darling don't get stuck in the storm it's over it's time to look at the rainbow so this is your message this is why you've been having these dreams darling it's time to start to stop crying and just to start anew right to start again right is that clear darling that is your very singular message that if you just start anew right if you stop with this energy with the solitude and the isolation then all of this is what awaits you when you are not alone your fellow travelers are there by your side if you only bother to turn around you will see all of them supporting you waiting for you to enjoy the sunshine the rainbow with them once more now let's see if there's someone in particular that you have to look out for what about this ten of cups is this a happy ending with someone in particular what do you have to know okay we've got a three we have n g and c so these are your clues darling these could be the initials, first name, last name, second name, nickname of the person that we're talking about. If this is about love, their name could start with N, right? G or C. Or this could be the name of the company, the initials of the company that you're going to be working for. Whatever it is, your new beginning, right? Your stable new beginning, your manifestation, your luck, and your happy ending, they have to do with these letters. So look out. This could be the cafe where you're going to meet this person. This could be somewhere in the title of the email that you're going to receive you know but whatever these are look out for c g and n i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you again soon take care if you chose slytherin welcome to your reading it's timeless you are meant to see it right now so what do your dreams mean let's start with tarot the two of pentacles temperance the Chariot, the Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Lovely. Darling, the reason you've been having these dreams is because right now you're not aiming for something big. You don't want something major. We have the Two of Pentacles and Temperance here. You just want things to be all right, right? It's like you don't want to win the lottery, you just want to get your salary. Something like this, right? You don't want to meet your Prince Charming. You just want someone to talk to, right? You are hoping for the bare minimum. That is what you want right now. You just want things to balance out. See, do you see them marrying each other, right? Balancing two things, water. Balancing two things, the pentacles, right? And even the same expression on their face. Just calm. No happiness. Nothing so lovely. Nothing so wonderful, right? You just want things to balance out. You just want things to work out. Because I'm hearing that you've been disappointed many times before. And you know that with big expectations come big disappointments as well, right? That is why right now you're not expecting anything major, anything big, anything too wonderful. You just want things to be all right. You just want them to work out, right? Bare minimum, bare essentials, they are what you want right now. But something happened recently. Recently, you received an opportunity, a chance, the possibility for triumph, right? The chariot, the possibility for victory. Maybe this is a new person who entered your life, right? This could be a magic relationship. Maybe this is a new job opportunity that you heard about, that you saw online. Whatever it is, this connection, this situation, darling, something recently entered your life, right? Something came into your life giving you the the chance, the possibility to dream about something big again, even though you are focused on something else, right? Nothing major, nothing big, just something balanced, just something sufficient. And this is something that worries you, darling, the nine of wands. Again, what did we say? You've been wounded before. You've been disappointed before. That's why you're bandaged. That's why right now you're very defensive, right? You're very well guarded. Your walls are up looking at this opportunity this new person this new job you are scared that it's just going to let you down 
See, you're afraid of the possibility of victory and triumph, darling. Whether this is a romantic relationship, a platonic connection, something to do with your family, with your career, with your finances, with your academics, you're afraid that this big thing, you know, if you start hoping and expecting, then you're just going to be disappointed again. You're just going to be let down again. This is what you're afraid of right now. But darling, the reason you've been having all of these dreams is because the divine, the universe, your higher self, they all want you to know that if you actually take this chance, then everything is going to turn out great. The nine of cups, emotional satisfaction, wish fulfillment, right? Look at him. This is who you're going to be. Very content, very happy, very abundant, right? Yellow, manifestation, trophies, right? Achievements, again, triumph and victory. Darling, this is what awaits you. And yes, we know, the universe knows that right now this is all you want. But the divine is telling you that it's time to move away from that. It's time to move forward and dream of something better, something bigger. Stop being afraid of this chance, of this possibility, because this time around, it won't disappoint you. This time around, it won't wound you, right? It's going to be great. This is a chance that you definitely should take because everything is going to turn out great, okay? This is the message that your dreams are trying to tell you, darling, to be brave, right? It's time to be brave and reach out for something great. Let's see what your oracles have to add to this. Cleansing water, see? This is you right now. Just chilling, right? Not expecting anything major. You just want to purify your life. Remove all of the bad things, all of the big expectations that turned out to be big disappointments for you, right? You just want to clean your life. You just want balance again with the water. A mirror of this, right? Water behind the guy in the two of pentacles and the water in the hands and in front of the angel in temperance, right? This is where you're at right now. Your emotions, your mind, your soul. But this is where you should be, darling, aiming for victory. Let's see what your other oracle has to add to this. Miracles. Wonderful, darling. We've been talking about expectations. And right now, you can expect the wondrous to emerge. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that wondrous indeed? Isn't that wonderful, darling? This time around, satisfaction, not disappointment, is what awaits you if you move ahead, if you move forward with this possibility, right? With this chance, with this opportunity. This is what your dreams have been trying to tell you. Now, let's see if there's anyone in particular that we should look out for. Is there someone involved in all of this, this miracle, this Nine of Cups energy? Who should you look out for, darling? Okay, we have three. We have S, L, like Slytherin, and O. Okay, slow. Right now, things are very slow for you. But it's time to start moving forward with the chariot. But this could also be the first name, middle name, second name, last name, right? Initials of the person that we're talking about. If this is a romantic relationship, this could be their name, right? This could be their initials. If this is about a job opportunity, this could be the name of the company, the boss, the place where your interview will be conducted, right? Whatever this is, these are your clues, darling. S-L-O. And again, you have three ones. So it's time to start again. It's time to begin anew, right? A new beginning is what awaits you wonderful darling so now we know why you've been having these dreams it's because right now things are very slow for you you just want the bare minimum the bare essentials but it's time to reach for the stars right it's time to embrace the possibility to move forward because if you do miracles are what await you i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you again soon take care